it's Coach O'Connor again with another quick tip for success. This is the double T bat path drill. So if you have two T's, great. If you don't, you can take a pool noodle or a piece of PVC, uh, find some way to balance it on the ground. A great way is a pool noodle and a toilet plunger. You can just stick it on the ground right in front of you for your second T. So this gives you good instant feedback about your bat path. So the first tee is set up in my normal contact spot. The second tee is in front of my front foot, about 10 inches in front of my front foot, and as high as I can make it. So all I'm gonna do is swing and hit the ball off of the first tee, and then hopefully don't hit the second tee. If I don't hit the second tee, what that tells me is that my bat path is traveling just a little bit up. So I'm attacking the ball at a slightly upward angle, and good extension up, I don't hit the tee. So you should be able to do a full speed swing, not hit this tee, because you want to be attacking the ball slightly up, about plus five or plus 10 degrees if you're into numbers and math. If I have a downward swing or a flat swing, I'm gonna hit this tee, and I'll get good instant feedback, because I'll know that I hit the tee. So from the side, it looks like so. Hit the ball off of this tee, keep going up and out, and I don't hit that tee. If I'm flat, I'll hit that tee. So if you're having trouble with that, remember, what you want to have is your barrel down here early and your hands in a palm up, palm down position. So I did a video about this earlier in the series. So you can practice this, because now as I rotate, you can see when the barrel is about even with my back foot, that's when I want to be in the hitting zone, and that's when I want to be going up. So this is another simple drill to give you great feedback so you can adjust on the fly all by yourself. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.